Okay, people, we've got another lesson here today. If you've never done a video in notes before, one nice thing that uh, you can do is make sure that you know to pause the video when you need to take down a note. Um, I'll be going through some stuff. As usual, I will tell you what to take notes on. If you see a note or a symbol, definition, whatever that you need to write down, pause the video so you have time to write it down, and then resume when you are ready. So, for instance, we've got switches, diodes, and light emitting diodes as our title. Go ahead, pause, and write that down now. These are the three things we'll be going over today, those three from the title. And let's start it off. Uh, we've got switches here. We do need the definition. A switch is a device that can connect or disconnect a circuit. Uh, the long definition is a mechanical device used to connect or disconnect a component or circuit. Um, you can just say a device that can connect or disconnect a circuit. Now, we've got a couple of things here uh, underneath. Now, we don't have to draw the symbol for all of these because you'll notice that the rocker, toggle, and slide switches all have the same exact symbol. Um, push button is a little different. What we really want to do uh, since we only use two of these in our kits anyways, is we want to get the name and symbol for push button switch and slide switch. So go ahead and write down push button and its symbol, and also write down slide switch and its symbol. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so our activity that goes along with this, we'll be making four circuits for and answering a few questions. The first circuit that we'll be making is called number one, lamp with slide switch. So I need you to write that down nice and bold uh, in your notes because you'll be using those notes in the lab. All right. And we're going to draw the symbols and make a diagram for this circuit. So go ahead and make a battery symbol on the bottom of your page. Go ahead and make a slide switch symbol. If you forgot what that looks like, take a look in your notes on the left side. And finally, go ahead and make a lamp or a light bulb symbol on the right side. And then connect those all together with wire. The second thing we're going to do is, first of all, we've got to write down the symbol for a motor. It just kind of plops this piece of information in here for us. It says a symbol for a motor is this. It's just a big circle with an M in it. Okay, so put that in your notes. Symbol for a motor, circle with an M in it. All right. And then we've got another circuit to draw. We've got circuit number two, and this one's called motor with push button switch. So write down that title nice and bold in your notes. And here's that circuit, and we're going to go ahead and draw in our symbols. So number one, we've got our battery on the bottom again. So go ahead and draw that symbol in. Secondly, we've got our push button switch right over on the left side. And then last but not least, we've got our motor on the right side. And all we have to do is connect those three components together okay so we've got two of them done now the third thing we're going to learn about today is a diode this is a device that allows electricity to go through in only one direction okay so you can cut that up however you want if you want to try to cut that down go right ahead but we do need to take a note on this one the definition a device that permits current or flow uh, sorry, current to flow through it in only one direction. So it lets it go through one way, blocks from the other. That is a diode. Go ahead and write that down now. Here's an example of what it looks like inside of an electronic device. And here is the symbol for a diode. Um, a lot of the time, you'll see the diode with this section um, actually filled in, so it'll be a uh, completely darkened in arrow here. Sometimes that arrow is not shaded in at all. If you see the triangle pointing to a vertical line, you know that that is a diode symbol. It doesn't matter what the inside of the arrow looks like. 
If you see the tri triangle pointing towards a vertical line, diode. Go ahead and make sure you get that symbol down. We are going to draw down our third circuit. This one's called diode with lamp. Make sure and write that nice and bold. And then let's draw a diagram for it so that we can make it in the lab. We've got our battery over here, so draw the battery symbol. And then up top, you've got your diode symbol here. Now, one thing that's very important that we haven't discussed yet, since it elect allows electricity to flow through it in only one direction, it is very important that we place this incorrectly. So, we need to make sure uh, that our arrow is pointing to the left on our diagram here. Okay, we've got to have it pointing to the left. And then on bottom, we've just got another light bulb symbol. And we connect it all together with wires. So as I was saying, we always have to make sure that our diodes are put in our circuits correctly. Now, there's a trick to this. Okay, What I tell my students is that you always want to make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the negative terminal on the battery. So if you look at these two examples, I take a look at this arrow and which way it's pointing. And if I follow that wire around, hey, that's pointing at the positive side. But this one, the arrow is pointing this way. And I follow it. It's pointing at the negative side of the battery. This is the right way, which will light up the lamp. This is the wrong way, which will block the electricity. So, in your own words, it wouldn't hurt to write down, make sure the arrow of a diode is always pointing at the negative side of the battery. Go ahead and do that now. Last but not least, our last component, and we'll have one last circuit diagram to draw, and then you'll be in the lab light emitting diodes go ahead and write that down this is basically just a diode that lights up okay so write down a diode that lights up or if you want the full definition go right ahead but it's a diode that lights up the symbol is even exactly the same okay it's just got two additional arrows coming off pointing diagonally up and to the right okay so this is an led or light emitting diode symbol okay and you'll see these arrows a lot of the time they actually stand for light there's many different components that these are seen on okay so this is diode with light go ahead and make sure you got the definition and the symbol down there and finally our fourth circuit nice and bold in our notebook we'll write down number four diode with LED and let's draw this one in. We've got our battery over here on the right. Draw your battery symbol. We've got a diode symbol now. And on the bottom, we've got an LED symbol. Make sure it has the two arrows, or else it will just be a normal diode. And last but not least, connect everything together with wire, and you've got your four circuits taken care of. Excuse me, didn't mean to go that far. All right, last thing that we're gonna talk about in this entire slideshow here, it's how electrons flow. Now there's two different theories on how electrons flow. Um, one is proven to be incorrect, the other is correct. Um, there's still controversy on it to this day, uh, but we originally thought that electrons flowed out of a battery from positive to negative. Okay, it turns out that this is incorrect. All right, that was called conventional current flow theory. Okay, so positive to negative is incorrect. We now know that electron flow theory, electrons flowing from negative to positive, is correct. Okay, so you need to know that electron flow theory name 
and that negative to positive is correct. If you can write that down, you are now done for the day. Good job. Take those notes and hold on to them. If we're starting a lab in class today, get your partner going to the lab and begin working on it.